Hello everybody, welcome to Hillshot TV Tutorials. Awesome! What we're going to cover today is how to, in fact, install Daisy. I get asked this all the time. Hillshot is such a great game, I don't know how to install it. Can you help me figure out how to install it? And I say, yes my good friend, I can. I'm going to show you the easiest and quickest and simple way to install Guess what? Day Z. Okay, guys. First thing we're going to do, we are going to go to da 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 daisymod.com. That is the official website for Daisy the game. But first things first, you're like, oh my, how do I play this wonderful, wonderful game? You have to go get Arma 2 Combined Operations. So simple. See, look, it even says it at the bottom. It has armor 2 right there. Because guess what? This is a mod. This is a modification. This isn't a standalone game. You don't know how many times I get asked that. It's not. So, what we're going to do is we'll go to daisymod.com. This is assuming you've already installed the Steam version of Combined Operations. That way you have the armor 2, just plain armor 2, and then you have armor 2 Combined Operations. You have both. All right? Once you get to the website, you're going to be like, boom, download DayZ. Alright? First things first, it's going to give you a whole bunch of stuff. Take a minute, take a deep breath, take it all in. What we're going to do is we're going to click on 6 Updater Suite. Let's go ahead and click that. Once we click that, ba -ba -da -bum, everything I just said is right here. Alright? You're gonna download this software, but before we do this, we're gonna we're gonna go over this because some people are like, huh, huh, huh. What are we doing? All right, it says prerequisites. Well, I can't even say prerequisites. We're just gonna keep it like that, keep the video like this. But anyway, it says make sure you have Armor 2 Combined Operations 1.60 or newer. You need Armor 2 Original and Operation Airhead expansion installed. For Steam users, run the game at least once through the Steam Launcher as Administrator. I will emphasize this again, as Administrator. Once that's all done, you're all up to date, you're going to grab 6 Launcher. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to grab 6 Launcher. You're going to hit Download Install Software. Once you do that, you'll have 6updater.net. Yeah, Alright, you're going to download this file. So we're going to click it. And then you're going to get the setup. Once you get the setup installed, da, 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 it's taking its sweet time. This website sometimes is very slow, guys, for downloads. So quick heads up. Alright, once you get that, you're going to click it. And then you're going to hit run. Once you hit run, it's going to go extracting, blah, 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 blah. Then it's going to go to configuring, blah, 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 blah. And then it's going to go through and it's going to ask you to hit next, hit next, hit next. All right. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead. Yeah, we're going to cancel that. Finish. I already have it installed. So we're going to go over here. This is the thing you're going to use the most. It's called 6 Launcher. Not the updater, 6 Launcher. So we'll double click that. On first install, we'll have the rocket shit come up. Alright. Then it should pop up a screen like this. We're going to go ahead and hit verify. It's going to verify all your files. Alright. You're going to have access to chain log or change log news support you know statistics all that stuff everything for daisies right here but I'm gonna tell you before you get started you're gonna go ahead and hit here and go to options it's gonna have all this stuff good to go blah 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 what you wanna do is update beta patch otherwise leave beta alone make sure that is clicked now if you wanna launch through steam can launch through Steam. You don't have to. 
Then it says only rely on server list provided by the SU portal. Don't have to click that. Determine server pings breaks internet for some users. You're going to go ahead and bam, click that. Don't even worry about that. And then you want to go and hit suspend sync while running game. So that way it's not constantly refreshing while you're in game and slowing it down. All right. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now you have a search bar up here. You can literally click up here and search for your server. So you can be like, US338, bam. There's US338. And you got your descriptions, blah, 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 blah. But we're not going to get into that. All right. Now time for the tips portion of the tutorial. We're going to go ahead and open this back up. We're going to go to, I'd say, one of the better websites for Daisy for maps and stuff. All right? You've got a database. Here's your database. And make sure you get that link right there. It's daisydb.com. Got a database hit Trenaris. It's going to bring you up some stuff. All right? It's going to be like blah, blah, blah. Cool. That's cool. But then you got weapons. Here's the cool thing. It tells you how common certain weapons are, how, you know, military-wise, blah, blah, blah. It's got your table of contents. Best feature thus far, though, hit that button. Bam. You got a full live interactive map. Find out where you're at. Say, oh, shit. Um, let's see. I spawned in Kamisovo. Well, guess what? Now you know loot drops and things in Kamisovo. So let's see if you see that building right there. You actually click it. Over here, it's got a picture of it. Tells you how what the zombie chance is, how many zombies, loot chance, and how much loot spawns. And then it gives you the generic loot table and the military loot table. It gives you all that stuff, guys. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, be safe, and as always, give me your beans. All right?